And we see the replay here. The handlebars just completely detached and there's nothing that he can do. There's no control left. Tim Dan and he's got Kellen O'Brien right behind him, ready to take oh, a push. Oh. And the first faller of this track session. And Australia have a faller. I think that might have been an equipment failure. You'd expect to see that happen out of the starting gate. That's the moment of maximum torque. Wow. Looked like a painful visit to the uh, boards as well. Well, skinning of the nose. I think his nose actually hit the floor. Because he went straight down. All his weight on his forearms. Never seen anything like that. That must have been... Firstly, I just want to ask you about your health. How are you? Are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm a bit battered and bruised. I've lost most of the skin down the centre of my face. And I've taken a good chunk off my arm. And To be honest, it, my brain still kind of trying to work it out. I was just... I remember I'd done my turn. I'd gotten... was on the back was just trying to settle in, get ready for um, my next my next go on the front. And then all of a sudden, I've just felt my arms pointing down. And then I could just see the track getting closer to my face. And at first, it kind of felt like a dream because my brain couldn't work out what was quite happening. And then just before I hit the track, it kind of clicked that something in the front of my bike had just fallen away. And then before I knew it, I was sliding. It was such a relief to see you get up as quickly as you did. What were some of the thoughts going through your head at the time when it, when it sunk in that your bars broke? I was really angry. I was really <laughs> frustrated. We'd all put in so much hard work. Everything, all the sensations I'd had were feeling were amazing. I, I had this feeling before the start that we were you know, going to be able to go out there and do something special. So it was purely j just frustration and anger at first. Um, but yeah, then I had to come in and refocus so we could go again. Yeah, I remember Tim came up to my coach and he um, asked me if I was okay, asked me if I was ready to go. And I, I just looked at him and I was like, yeah, it's the Olympic Games, Tim. This is what we've trained all this time for. I'm, I'm not letting something like this stop us now. We've got everyone behind us. It's, it's just a minor speed bump. Let's go again. To see you get back up on the track, and you know, burns bare, body battered, broken bike. How hard was it to um, trust the equipment again, second time round? I think I was just so caught up in the moment. I didn't actually think about the, what had happened, my handlebars or anything again. I knew all the guys above me had put, put in so much work and I wanted to go out there and do everything I could for them to make sure we had a fighting chance to still bring home a gold medal. The Green and gold jersey is something that I've been working for my entire life and I just felt that I needed to do it proud, do all my friends and family at home proud and do my country proud.